Hey guys, hope you're doing great today. Troy here, and in today's short video, I'm gonna show you in under five minutes how to build your very own website. So let's get started. You'll notice right below in the description, there's gonna be a link. Go ahead and click on that, as it's gonna direct you to the page I'm showing you right now. And it's gonna show you what resources you need and what steps you need to take. So let's jump right into it. So once you're on the page, go ahead and scroll down because the first step that we need to take is secure our domain. I've got this nice little domain checker on site for you to take a look and see if that domain is available. Now, if you've already got one, totally fine, but go ahead and give it a look. Make sure that you've got your domain secured. Of course, shameless plug for one of my other videos may be helpful to you. Go ahead and take a look. So step one, done, good to go. We have that domain. I'm building out my site in under five minutes. Step two is securing that domain and gathering and uh, accounting for our hosting. So go ahead and click on Get Domain and Hosting. It's gonna take us to HostGator, and we're gonna click on WordPress Hosting. Once we do that, it's gonna take us to this form to get everything set up. Now, we've already checked to make sure our new domain is good to go. We would just plug that in there. If we've already got one, click on that tab and populate that information, and then just go ahead and fill out these form fields. One thing to keep in mind, if you're building out a number of sites potentially in the near future, Go ahead and select the option for more sites. Uh, of course, there's cost efficiencies there and you get more features. So once you drop in all that information, you'll go ahead and you'll get the best deal from me. You'll get one of the best offers through the coupon code that will pre-populate. And then of course, that will show up in your total. Go ahead and click on checkout and we've got steps one and two done. We've got our domain and hosting locked down. Now we're ready to set up our account. So once we get to that point, we're gonna to navigate to our control panel. Through HostGator, we're gonna take a look through our control panel and find the quick install, because now we're ready to set up our CMS. Scroll down to services, or software and services. You'll see the quick install option here. The thumbnail's not showing for me, so we can go ahead and refer back to the form I've got for you right here. Once you click on that, we're directing to setting up our CMS, which is WordPress. Now. Over 74 million sites online use WordPress. It's free, it's easy. The long laundry list of benefits and uses for this CMS is endless. Once we're there, we've clicked the quick install. We're directed to the Mojo Marketplace. We wanna just go ahead and click on WordPress and install WordPress through the Mojo Marketplace. Enter our account details into the provided form and then right at the very bottom, you'll see a green button. That says install WordPress and then you're good to go because from there, it'll let you know from a prompt that your install is complete. You can gather your credentials. You'll cl click on the drop down arrow on the top right, gather your credentials from here, and it'll also have your admin link, which is your domain backslash WP slash admin backslash. You'll wanna hold on to both your credentials and then have that link handy. It's very helpful to have that handy or bookmarked. So now we're ready to move on to step five. So we have our, our domain, we have our hosting, we've got our CMS, now we're ready to customize our site. Now, from uh, the WordPress navigation, we're, when we're directed through that WP admin link and we dropped in our credentials, we'll see the back end, the navigation. I'll jump quickly to one of my sites so you can take a look at that. Actually, it's this page here, so that'll be very insightful. Once you're here, you'll see the navigation running on the left-hand side, and then some of the page information, as that's what I'm navigated to here. Now, the first thing you'll wanna focus on is really setting up your theme. So through appearance and themes, you can direct to that page and figure out whether you want a free theme or a premium theme. And again, themes are just layouts or site structures. It gives you the precedent from which to build your site on. Once you do that and you have your site structure, you're gonna to wanna to focus on things like posts and pages. So posts is like uh, when you hear of blog posts or you're building out a blog, or pages, different pages, whether it's an about us page, a contact us page, you name it, you can plug it right in here through looking at all pages or adding a new right on your site. So once we have a look at themes, we've got posts, we've got pages, you even have the option to set up your, of course, your site's navigation. So once you have the about page, once you have maybe a contact page or different pages on your site, you can go through and customize your uh, navigation or menu through the uh, WordPress navigation. So I'm cutting it really close on time here. I uh, Hopefully that helps you guys out. Congratulations on building your site. If this was helpful, please share it. Send us some questions. If I can be of assistance, love to help out. Hope this was helpful for you guys. All right, have a good